Today, we finish the season. Get ready for Game Showdown. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Game Showdown. I'm your host, Blessing, Addy OEA Jr. And I'm joined by three teams. We have Tim, representing Team Tim. We have Andy, representing Team Andy. And we have Greg, representing Team Greg. As the final kind of feudy champion, I think it's only fair that Tim gives me three stars. <laughs> As a show of I mean, respect. I, Tim, like a show of respect, Tim. That's only fair. It's all, I'll leave it up to Tim. No. <laughs> empty. This will be an empty <laughs> no. win for him. Empty win for him. Tim says no. I do appreciate you guys for dressing up today. Yeah, you guys look welcome. very nice Thank for you. the occasion of the finale. As do you, my friend. You look great. Thank you. Is that a linen shirt? How do you find linen? I, yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, that's, a, that's the shirt. Yeah, the shirt. Oh, the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, about the suit. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you do it. Looks great all around you. Yeah, yeah everything's you. good. I appreciate it. No uh, one mentioned the bow tie. I'm going to mention the bow tie. Bow tie, bow tie. Appreciate it. Yeah, usually I don't rock a bow tie, but I figured today is a special one. And yeah. so let's go hard. Season finale, you did this, Bless. You worked hard on this. Thank you. You did a lot. It was a great season. We all worked hard. Shout out to Roger. Some Shout out people to me for dominating. like Tim Gettys worked Thank harder you. than others. Thank you. Actually, while I'm here, because I was going to do this late in the show, but I'll shout him out now. Shout out to uh, both Roger and Barrett. Hell yeah. And myself, of so course. So much work. Game Showdown was a group effort. You know, we all worked hard here to, to do it. But Roger, of course, was on work doing the, the assets, assisting me in, in, the, in the games, helping like figure out what the rules were and all this stuff. And so shout out to Roger, but then also Barrett for running the show. Game Showdown is a way more involved show than any other show we do here. Kind of funny. And so for being on it with all the different segments, all the different games, hitting the intro timing everything uh shout out to barrett for working with us on that as well fantastic work out here and i mean it's the show's always been a bit of a role re reversal right of course tim's taking my role in winning all the time mm -hmm. i'll take tim's role today and say it's been a lot of fun but this is the last game showdown <sighs> We're Dang. canceling this show since I, I lot, always lose. I had, lot, I had a lot of like plans for future episodes. <laughs> Man, it's going, we're going back to Kind of Feudy. We liked Kind of Feudy. We're just going to do Kind of Feudy. you get to decide. No, in fact, it is the opposite. Kind of fun or kind of game. We're doing it five days a week. Yeah. No, no, no. It will continue. Season yeah. one is done, but just so everybody knows, this show will continue. You guys funded the show actually last year. It was just going to be a six episode mini series, but we decided, uh, no, that's not the case. We're going to keep this going. We're having yep. such a fun time. Everybody Everybody's working so hard to make it magic, and you guys are showing up, and we really appreciate it. So thank you all so much. We can talk about that later after I win. We'll talk about all that later. For now, like always, we're starting with a trivia question worth a star. Oh, oh. Fuck you, Tim, you Whoa. idiot! Fuck. Whoever gets it correct. Some bullshit. This moving is a round. This is some Mario Party bullshit. It's moving this. Nice. This is a round <laughs> of bullet points. I'm going to read to you the details about a game, one bullet point at a time. It is your job to buzz in and guess what this game is. You can buzz in once per bullet point. Love it. Are you ready? Yes. yes. First bullet point. This game was designed for mature audiences and features graphic violence, alcohol, and tobacco use, profanity, and vulgar humor. Tim Geddes. Grand Theft Auto 4. That is incorrect. Greg Miller. Mad World. That is incorrect. Andy. Duke Nukem. That is incorrect. Moving on to the second bullet point. The game includes a multiplayer mode where up to four players can compete against each other in seven different game types. Andy Cortez. Grand Theft Auto Online. That is incorrect. Greg or Tim. Greg. Grand Theft Auto 5. That is incorrect. Tim, you can buzz in or we can move on to the next bullet point. On. This game was released in 2001. Oh. Greg Miller. Manhunt. That is incorrect. 2001. It's a place, it's a time, it's a people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move on unless one of you buzzes in. Either Andy or Tim. Andy. <laughs> Online? It doesn't say. He read the bullet points. Yeah, no. 2001. I think he said multi oh, multiplayer. Um, uh, Fusion Frenzy. <laughs> 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 that is incorrect. <laughs> All right, we'll move on unless Tim. No, move on. This game is set in the Fairy Panther King's kingdom. <laughs> Excuse you? Greg Miller. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That is correct. Thank you. Wow. Greg Miller, you just earned yourself a star going through the, the bullet points. Come back, oh, wow. now! 
Oh. Going through the bullet points starting the first one, oh. of course, this game was designed for mature audiences uh, and features graphic violence, alcohol, and tobacco use, profanity, and vulgar humor. The game includes a multiplayer mode with, uh, with uh, for, where up to four players can compete against each other in seven different game types. Of course, Conker's loved force multiplayer. The game was released in 2001. It was a late N64 title. Late, late N64. It's set in the Fairy Panther King's Kingdom, and then the other two bullet points would have been that this game stars an anthropomorphic rodent, and that this game was developed for the N64 by the same devs as Sea of Thieves. Congratulations, Greg. Uh, Bear, you can bring up myself, the Star Tracker. <laughs> Add it on the board! When we're recounting our scores for the season, uh, Tim, Team Tim, has been up uh, eight stars. Team Andy has had two stars. And then Team Greg just earned another star to make a total of two stars for the season. <laughs> How's it feel, Greg? So here's the deal, Andy. Oh, yeah. Great. If I get two more stars, I need you to give me your two stars. All right? Then I'll be six. Six to eight. Well, I'll have a shot. All right? Think okay. about it. Think I'll, about and it. Here's what Think I'll say. It, here's man. what I'll say. Offers on the table for you too. Okay. All right. All right. Great. I'll give my two stars to you if you get to whatever it needs to be. We'll figure Still it out. Still gonna win, bless. It's okay. Now this is the season finale. Well, Bowser always thinks you fucking turtle. <laughs> <laughs> to bring people up to speed. We're competing for the kind of funny world championship, which we've all had at some point or another. Yeah, Andy for very short amounts of time. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> the way you earn that they just championship. Decided to throw it back up. <laughs> like it's wild. The way you earn that championship is by having the most stars at the end of the season. Of course, today's the season finale. So by the end of the episode, whoever has the most stars is our uh, game showdown season champion. Remember, this is Game Showdown. Kind of funny. It's an already game show that you can watch live right here on Twitch and on YouTube. If you love what we do, support us with the Kind of Funny membership on Patreon or on YouTube to get all of our shows ad-free. Watch, record them live, and get a daily exclusive show. Thank you to our Patreon producers, Carl Jacobs, Kieran Hovasapian, and Delaney Twining. Housekeeping for you, Game Showdown Live is coming to PAX East hey. with me and a crew of guests. If you want to watch Kind of Funny trivia show live in the PAX audience, it's going down on Friday, March 22nd at 1 p.m. in the albatross theater today we're brought to you by shady rays in factor but we'll tell you about that later for now let's play a new game a spinoff of your wrong mad categories <laughs> Bad Categories is the new Game Showdown game being introduced for Season 2 and replacing your wrong. I need a Jaguar like sound right there. <laughs> <laughs> there was a meow. <laughs> Greg is just laughing real loud. Uh, formerly known as Out Today, the rules are simple. I'm going to list a handful of games. It is your job to write down on your whiteboard whether you think this game belongs in Category A or Category B. We're going to go one game at a time through a list of 10 games. You get 20 points for each correct placement. Today's mad categories are Fortnite location uh -huh. or SpongeBob location. Uh, I should point out that whoever wins this game wins a star. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! I'm so sorry. As I was passing that out, I missed the first sentence of the rules. So basically, I'm going to give you two categories. The categories are Fortnite location or SpongeBob location. I'm going to go through a list of 10 games one at a oh, time. Cool. You're going to tell me whether you think that game is a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob. You can just write down Fortnite or SpongeBob to make it easy. Why don't I do A or B? I mean, as long as I understand which one you're going for. Don't make it confusing, you know? Why? Right, now I'm going to write an F. You can do <laughs> or an F, yeah, F or S if you want to be yeah. quick about it. Draw, uh, <laughs> draw, draw Peely <laughs> and draw Squidward. <laughs> Let's start off with round number one. Slurpy Swamp. Tell me if you think that is a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob location. And we're, we will reveal after every round. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're well, not gonna, yeah go I, I thought we were going to 10 through. My bad. Oh. So Fortnite location or, or, or a SpongeBob location. Write them down. I think we all have our answers locked in. Uh, Greg, what you got? <laughs> Very tiny because I thought we were doing the other way. SpongeBob. Greg says SpongeBob. Andy, what you got? I put Fortnite. Andy says Fortnite. Tim, what you got? Fortnite. Tim says Fortnite. That is a Fortnite location. That is 20 points for Tim and for Andy. I thought they called it the Slurp Juice. So I was like, oh, it's got to be he's playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> Slurp Juice. The second you think Bless is playing with you, he's probably not. <laughs> As evidenced by my Diglett conundrum a couple weeks ago. Never Why would you think Diglett sheds skin? <laughs> I, just, yeah. like, I, I, he's, I don't know. Blessing is he's playing with my head right he's now. Playing, he's inside my head. Number two, Salty Spittoon. Salty Spittoon. Is it a SpongeBob location or a Fortnite location? Contestants are writing down their answers. Looks like we are all about locked and you're writing some some extra stuff in there, Andy. Uh, let's start with Tim this time. Tim, what Fortnite. you got? 
Tim says Fortnite. Andy, what you got? SpongeBob and I do SpongeBob. Wow, oh, that's a really good looking SpongeBob. Thank you. Greg, what you got? SpongeBob. Greg says SpongeBob. That is a SpongeBob location. That is twenty points for Andy and for Greg. Moving on to number three, Lazy Lagoon. Lazy Lagoon. Is that a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob location? Lazy Lagoon. Andy's drawn a Peely. <laughs> Let's start with Andy this time. Andy, what you got for me? Fortnite with a Peely. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite. Greg, what you got for me? Fortnite. Greg says Fortnite. Uh, Tim? Fortnite. Everybody says Fortnite. Fortnite is the correct answer that's going to get everybody 20 points. Moving on to number four. Barnacle Bay. Barnacle Bay. Is that a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob location? Barnacle Bay. Andy's making a drawing. All right, we're all locked in. Let's start with Greg. SpongeBob. Greg says SpongeBob. Andy. SpongeBob. Andy says SpongeBob. Tim. SpongeBob. Everybody says SpongeBob. The correct answer, SpongeBob. Everybody gets 20 points for that. Number five, Naughty Nets. Nest? Nets. N-E-T-S. Naughty Nets. Is it a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob location? Naughty Nets. Are we all locked in? Tim has to lock it in. Yep. Let's start off with Tim. SpongeBob. Tim says SpongeBob. Andy. SpongeBob. Andy says SpongeBob. Greg. SpongeBob. Greg says SpongeBob. Everybody says SpongeBob. The correct answer is Fortnite. Oh. oh. That is a Fortnite location. Wow. Nets. Wow. Neither that, that sounds one. Neither. Nets. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? N-E-S. N-E-T-S. Nets. Yeah. You're thinking of like, you know, the like, jellyfish fishing, right? Where they're yeah. you know, doing all this stuff with the nets. Round number six. What are they doing Fortnite with the nets? Are they catch fish? Anyone have any info? No? I don't play enough Fortnite. I don't think they ever can, they got nest. Nest. They got nest. I would have nest. assumed it was Nest. And maybe Blessing mm-hmm. was just uh, dyslexic in that moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> we can fact check. Roger, my fact checker. Fact <laughs> fact I, I have the location up on my end. It looks like a like a tiny little fishing like area uh, town. Mm, okay. Yeah. There you go. I expected a, like a big nest with a bunch of mean birds. I will say, <laughs> Naughty spelt K-N-O-T-T-Y. Oh. So the nets are in a knot. Clever. Uh, yeah, that's what they're doing there. clever. Round six, Greasy Grove. Nautical. Greasy Grove. Is it a Fortnite location or a SpongeBob location? I believe I we're like all. It. My wife wears naughty nets. <laughs> you said that into the microphone. <laughs> you leaned over to me in secret. <laughs> Let's start off with Andy. Fortnite. Andy says Fortnite. Greg. Fortnite with a bullet. Greg says Fortnite. Tim. Fortnite. Everybody says Fortnite. Fortnite. Is the correct answer. Y'all get 20 points there. Round number seven. Salty Springs. Has Andy missed yet? Uh, yeah. We all missed one. Right? Yeah, there was one know. where everybody missed. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, it's 20 points okay. per thing. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Salty You're just Springs. A great game is what I'm saying. Oh, thank you. Are we all locked in? It was Tim's the next one. In. Fucking Nets. Let's start off with Greg. Fortnite. Greg says Fortnite. Uh, Andy. Fortnite. Andy says Fortnite. Tim. Fortnite. Everybody says Fortnite. That is indeed a Fortnite location. Oh, that's good. Round number eight. Crush County. Crush County. As a reminder, you have 10 rounds overall, so there's three rounds left. Crush County. I believe we're all locked in. Let's start off with Tim. SpongeBob. Tim says SpongeBob. Andy. I too say SpongeBob. Andy says SpongeBob. Greg. SpongeBob. Everybody says SpongeBob. The correct answer. Is SpongeBob. Round number nine. Hazy Hillside. Mm. Hazy Hillside. Are we all locked in? No, I haven't written down yet. Please don't rush it. me. Hazy I'm locked, rush Hillside. Me. Let's start off with Andy. Fortnite? Andy says Fortnite. Tim. Fortnite. Tim says Fortnite. Greg. I need it. SpongeBob. Hazy Hillside is the location in Fortnite. Das. 20 points for Andy, 20 points for Tim. That brings well, I us. I'd never heard of that one. Yeah. yeah. I thought there's a lot of hillsides. I thought Scary maybe one. I could get away with it. Yeah. We know Hazy, but like, you know. That brings us to our 10th and final round of Mad Categories. If there is a tie, both players will get a star. Or a oh! Star. Yeah. We're going to split the star. Well, I guess that's not splitting, but yeah, you should get a star. Number 10. Vats of acid are us. 
Vats of acid are us. Vats of acid are us. This one's fucked up. It is. Greg Real locked finger. in. I'm locked in. Game Andy, time. are you locked in? I'm locked in. Are you okay, ready? We're all in? locked in. Are Let's you? start off with Greg. SpongeBob. Greg says SpongeBob. Andy. I too say SpongeBob. Andy says SpongeBob. Great job, Tim. Andy. Get him. I three say SpongeBob. Everybody here says SpongeBob. The correct answer is SpongeBob. There we that go. That gets everybody Plankton. 20 points. He's out there. Which means Andy leads this game, which earns Andy a star. Let's go, Andy! Damn. Team Andy and Greg, let's get him! Barrett's oh, brought up the star tracker. We're almost tied up together to beat Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that brings our updated standing to uh, team, team Greg currently in last place with two stars. Team Andy in second place with three stars. And Team Tim still in the lead with eight stars total. I, I mean, would have assumed that Tim had 12. Or 13. Like, I don't, it just 13 felt, stars? It felt like that. Yeah. How, many, how many more rounds are there? Of what? Games? This game. How many more games do we play? I need to I'm make not, sure. I'm not telling you that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't. There's no mini meta games going on. Oh, yeah, I'm not sharing I'm, that When do I just go alley oop here for stars? <laughs> like, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I will tell you what we're doing next. Right after I tell you about patreon.com slash kind of funny and <laughs> youtube.com slash kind of funny games. Over there, you can get the kind of funny membership, which allows you to get shows ad free. And speaking of ads, let us tell you about our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Shady Rays, an independent sunglasses brand that has over 300,000 five-star reviews. They're on a mission to match affordability with durability, making top quality shades accessible to everyone. They have tons of styles and colors to pick from, so finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze. Their tangle-free collection is perfect for all hair types and is their hottest selling style. These shades have specifically designed nose pieces with long hair in mind for ultra comfort so you'll never have a snag in your hair. Here at Kinda Funny, we all love wearing our Shady Rays. Whether it's Tim looking dope in his Pokemon Go walks, Snowbike Mike rocking the snow goggles, or me just looking fantastic in my Tangle Free Shades. If your shades go MIA or take a hit, don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection, so you're covered from day one. And if you don't love your shades, exchange or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Exclusively for y'all, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Head to ShadyRays.com and use the code KF20 for $20 off each pair of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 300,000 people. Again, ShadyRays.com and use code KF20 for $20 off each pair of polarized sunglasses. Shout out to Factor for sponsoring this episode. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Joey has been loving her Factor meals because every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prep cooking or cleanup needed and factor is flexible for your schedule get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week we've done the math factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious a ton of us here at kind of funny have been so thankful for factor since we've been in the new studio and you can too head to factormeals.com slash kind of funny 50 and use code kind of funny 50 to get 50 percent off that's code kind of funny 50 at factormeals.com slash kind of funny 50 to get 50% off. And we're back. And now it's time for the awarding of the bonus stars. No. Oh. Yeah! It is Mario Party. Yeah! No. <laughs> Let's get his ass in. <laughs> oh, man. The idea but is but simple. But it's, but it's <laughs> at the start of the season, I hit up our game showdown stack tracker, KDG. Uh, to keep track of a few key stats throughout the season whoever led in these stats by the end of episode nine is awarded a bonus star today we have five bonus stars oh to God. give out this is so good let's start with the bonus star for most secret answers of course during episodes of game showdown we have an answer that is the secret answer usually during kind of Feudy, where if you give it it gets you five points the team with the most secret answers is Team Andy. But it's not, but it's not, but it's not, but it's not. Get him, Andy, get him, Andy. Thank you, Tim. Team Andy. Thank you. Uh, the stat breakdown for that one, uh, Team Tim and Team Greg both only had uh, one secret answer during the season. Team Andy, 
four wow answers. Uh, thank is, you andrea renee who got yep. one yeah, i was gonna say this is a team effort right so that does include uh thanks so the episodes that nothing. had guests <laughs> stepping in in, in, your, <laughs> in your spot next up the team with the most wrong answers now this isn't including passes hmm. it is you know what barrett roll the clip JRPGs are often known for their soundtracks, with some franchise composers attaining legendary status within the games industry. Nobu yeah. Matsu. That is incorrect. Fuck! <laughs> Andy and Greg, you guys are the only ones that can buzz in for the rest of the question. Uh, with some franchise composers attaining legendary status with the, <laughs> within the games industry, such as Nobu Matsu. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, Greg Miller. Imagine Dragons! <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. <sighs> Tim, can you hang in there? Splinter Cell. Tim says that's really damn Splinter good. Cell. Splinter Cell is not what? on the what? list. What? What? Fusion Frenzy, <laughs> best Xbox game, and Splinter Cell is not on the list. Greg Miller, Castlevania. That is incorrect. Oh, fuck it. Metal Gear Solid 2. That is incorrect. Andy Bowser. Incorrect. Mario. Mario's incorrect. Uncharted. Greg says Uncharted. In Sorry. You want to keep going? No. Uncharted okay. is incorrect. Mike, you're known in the office as a Fall Guys fanatic. Ooh. Mediatonic, the developer, is, uh, is, is most well-known for their work on Fall Guys. However, the year before releasing Fall Guys, they worked on a game published by Xbox Game Studios. What was this game? No idea. You have 15. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy to say that. No idea. <laughs> but I know your hit game, Fall Guys. <laughs> I thought this would have been a slam dunk for you. Nope. Andy Pretty. Cortez. Helios. Fucking Andy says it. Helios. Helios is not oh, on the fuck list. Fuck my asshole. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. fuck. I messed it up. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. That is incorrect. Fuck. I'm going to guess. Uh, Kirby, Kirby, <laughs> Kirby's Kirby, <laughs> He's Kirby's Kirby, Kirby, Kirby suck and blow. <laughs> Greg, <Miller>. beautiful Joe. <laughs> <laughs> What's he up to? What's he up to? Tim Gaddies, God of War, Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok is the incorrect answer. Fuck. God of War, twenty eighteen. God of War 2018 is the correct answer. Can you tell me? I would have never guessed that <laughs> shit if Tim did. I would have never guessed it. Name a video game character who can run really fast, aside from Sonic the Hedgehog. God damn it. Master Chief sometimes runs fast, but he's not that fast, you know what I mean? I mean, the old Halo games is very slow. Yeah, but like, you know. Can you imagine if I said faster? <laughs> like a man who's only played Halo. <laughs> played <kind of> Halo. <laughs> Spell? Disgaea. Andy Cortez. D I S G I E A. That is incorrect. D I S G A. Wait, what did e I say? A. What did I say? That is correct. You had an I in there. You had an I in there. No! Yeah. Yeah, after the G, you added a random I in there. <laughs> I saw the A. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> in my brain, it didn't look that way. Greg, spell Popo LaCroix. P O P O. <laughs> <laughs> Spell Dangan Rampa. F I N D T H E S E C R E T A N D Y. Incorrect. And also, I lost track. You said find the what? <laughs> what did you just spell? Secret Andy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Miller is oh, your winner. Come wow. on. Star wow. For the most wow. secret answers. We're going, baby. We're cooking now, Andy. <laughs> the stat Congrats, breakdown. Greg. We're cooking now, Andy. <laughs> what a win. <laughs> it actually wasn't that far. So Andy had 50 wrong answers. Tim had 52. And Greg Miller had 58. Oh, wow. Oh, Greg, folks, we're all right there. We're all right there. Season. That brings our star standings to Team Greg with three stars, Team Andy with four, and Team Tim with eight stars. Get to a big and decision, Andy. And Get to a big decision. And the team with the least amount of stars, Andy Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> or at least about a fucking <laughs> wrong answers. Next up, the team with the most tips of the hats awarded I to didn't them. I do well in this this year. <laughs> That's Andy. It is. Because you're an antagonist to the host. <laughs> the team with the most tips of the hat is 
Team Andy yes. and Team Tim. Oh, 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 oh that star, that star belongs to both of you. Oh wow! Yes. yes. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! The stat breakdown for this one is: uh, Greg had two tips of the hat. Andy and Tim each had three tips of the hat. Wow! Throughout uh, the season, massive. Next up, the team. That successfully answered the most warm-up questions. Of course, every episode of Game Showdown, I start with an initial question to kind of get you guys going, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of get you guys warmed up. Get the blood flowing. The team that answered the most warm-up questions is Team Andy. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go, Andy! Come on! Bonus stars! Bonus stars! Come on. <laughs> the breakdown there, of course, uh, Greg had one of the warm-up questions answered correctly. Jesus. Tim had two, and then Andy had five. Mm -hmm. Five warm up questions. Good job, Andy. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, now it's time for our final one. Oh, thank God. A category that Roger titled The Biggest Buzzer Baby. The Biggest Buzzer Baby. <laughs> Barrett. It's going to be fucking Tim. <laughs> <laughs> fucking button doesn't work. Is it A, Quake Champions? Is it B, Overwatch 2? Or is it C, Rainbow Six Siege? Greg Miller. Or sorry. Uh, I think it was Greg. Oh, it looked like Greg hit it first, but Tim's thing is blinking. Can I get a second? Where's Roger at? All right, cool. That's Tim Gettys. Shit, fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> go That's on Roger. He's going to hold this over your head for a very yeah, long time, Roger. Long. He's had this like, touching interview, this like great <laughs> fucking moment. <laughs> this is going to follow your career. Then he I needs to like, bend I over the desk, Greg. You're going to go far, Roger. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's in great shape. <laughs> to be fair, the button is <laughs> fucking <laughs> clunker. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm spot. not your cousin who came over. I get the, the third party Mad Cat's control. <laughs> to be right. fair, I'm a goddamn Did champion. Roger leave some Skittles in there? Or what? <laughs> I want to thank Roger for fixing my buzzer, too. Contestants, you can buzz in to answer. GRPGs well, are often Roger, known. Can you see my buzzer around all my awards? Should I move it for you? No lights. Tim Gettys. Oh, Mario come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Was it? Let's look back at the track, okay? You gotta be quicker on the draw, Tim. I don't yeah. know if I do. Andy Cortez. Oh, that was me. I fucking hate this game. Sorry. I like only Nintendo has fucking soundtracks, too. The first one was a PlayStation Vita song. This is the Vita home screen. That was supposed to be the Greg Miller slam dunk. You saw me get it. You saw me get it, Roger. Fucking Roger and his bullshit. I know. There. All right, Bear. S set it. Roger's trying to screw me. Um, uh, shit, it's one of those now. Now I don't want to rob, 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 rob it, rob it, rob, rob it. <laughs> Name something that Joel from The Last of Us and Kratos. <laughs> yeah, there's no buzzing like, in. No, Mike, I go first. <laughs> Mike is, is, is buzzing <laughs> in. Hyperboloid HD. Andy Cortez. I think this boss shit doesn't work. You've seen the God, multiple times that I hit it before Andy did. It didn't just happen once, everyone. It happened multiple times. And you know, I've actually gotten the update on why that's happening. Yeah. I mean, should I tell him, Roger? Collusion? Because he doesn't know how to hit a button. He you, when you hit, hit the button, button, you gotta let go of it. When you hit it, you're holding it. So, like, it processes the buzz at the let go. That's minus five stars. Good to know. Yeah. That's a tip for future seasons. Or maybe this episode. I'm gonna hold it till I let go. And then I'll be the one who buzzed in. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm dead last in the cellar, right? That's why. <laughs> And there you have it. Greg Miller is the winner wow. of the Thank biggest you. buzzer Thank baby. Uh, Barrett, if you can bring up the stats once again, uh, that brings us up to Team Tim in the lead still with nine stars total. Team Andy in second place with six stars total. And Team Greg is up to four stars total so far for the season and for the episode. I do have some more fun stats brought to you by KDG. Um, in episode one, Greg unveiled the season 13 banner. Uh, Blessing gave Greg a clue to help him get his 20 point question. I do want to clarify that that clue was part of the question. I, l I learned after that episode that I got to rephrase. I can't say that I'm going to give you a clue because people think that that's oh, like it's a reward. Yeah. Got so it, I should have just it. like, you know, structured that question differently to like make it clear that, that was part of the I've question. never forgotten that one. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of people in comments were mad and I'm like, no, that was like written down. Like it's part of it. But a game about it. dragons. You talked about it today. <laughs> yeah. a dragoon i don't know uh in episode five andy got a tip of the hat for atreus betrayus and greg got the metacritic for prince of persia sands of time exactly correct uh, by saying it was a 92 on metacritic in episode okay. six andy got a tip of the hat for saying joel might be greek um <laughs> in episode nine tim got the correct metacritic for mario maker uh with an 88 
when after nine games, Andy got the most round robin points across five games. Andy got 160 points. Tim got 150. And then Greg got 70. Greg got the most critical hit points across three games. Greg got 240. Tim got 170. Andy got 230. And then Greg got the most 50 point answers in Kind of Feudy, which was the only answer guest in every round of Feudy all season. Greg got eight. Tim got seven. Andy got five. Talking about the 50 point answers. Um, that's it for the awarding of the bonus stars. Great job, KDG. Great job, KDG. Thank you, KDG. Thank you, KDG, for that. Now it's time for Final Feudy. There's more? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roger, what was yeah. that? Yeah. It's part of it. It's part of it somehow in the render. We don't know how. Barrett, reset the scores. Can we have a... Oh, sorry. Let's sorry, go for it. Can we have a quick team timeout? Uh, sure. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to do here? Where is this, this is it. This is it. Now, if we combine the points, who's I, we, we, we have more than Tim. Hey, now, I'm, you don't have my, my permission to combine the points. Uh, excuse me, this is a team meeting? <laughs> sure, yeah, go for it. Sorry. sorry. Dude, how, are you, how hot are you feeling today? Um, I mean... Because I'm totally down to give you my points. You have 10 points. Uh, Tim has nine. Now, you could go the opposite way. You could give me your points, and I could have 10. Tim could have nine. It's I'm not... This is not some kind of Greg screw job. I just want to beat Tim. Well, it's a oh, screw job for Tim, mm. not for you. So if you feel like you've got the juice for kind of feudy, and I'm not saying I do. I'm not saying I do for the record. Yeah, no, I'm kind of with you. I think at, like, at the end of the day, though, um, who's going to be the more annoying champion? Yeah, yeah. Tim or Greg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think... But it could be you. I think I'm more mentally okay with Tim winning all of this. This is how you're going to fucking fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm offering my stars to you, and you're going to fuck me. Earlier, you just said, yeah, go to my fucking trophy closet. <laughs> trophy trophy case. I show them my trophy case. God. <laughs> All right, fine, Andy. You made a powerful yeah. enemy today. Yeah, yeah. You fuck, you made Enjoy being a fucking loser with me. <laughs> All right? The rules are simple. I've, fuck! I've surveyed over 1,600 members of the Kind of Funny audience on a number of prompts. Each round, I'm going to read to you a prompt and we'll ask each of you which answer you think the Kind of Funny best friends gave the most. I've narrowed down to five answers per prompt. If you give a correct answer, the more popular the answer, the more points you receive. However, Final Feudy is different from Kind of Feudy. Final Feudy is only two rounds and a bonus round, and you get a star for every 30 points you make during this Jesus. game. Okay. So Barrett will be doing the math. Behind Good job, the Barrett. So, if you end the game with 60 points, that's two stars. Think about it, Tim. Do the math. I'm thinking hard. Contestants, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. 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 Round number one. Fill in the blank. Blank fans are crazy. Blank fans are crazy. Greg, because you are the in last place. Thank you. Stars, I'm going to allow you to go first. Sonic. Greg says Sonic. Sonic is the 40 point and yeah, that's thank you. Star. Yeah, that's, that's how easy star. it is. That's how easy it is, Tim. <laughs> Next up, hang now. Andy. Fuck you, Andy. Kingdom Hearts. Fuck. Andy says Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is the fifty point. Andy. Wow, great job, Andy. Thank you, Tim Gettys. Fill in the blank. Blank fans are crazy. Call of Duty. Tim says Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Is the not. thirty point? Whoa! Answer. Whoa! Yes. Would not have expected. Me neither. That. Not a chance. Yeah. yeah. We're back to Greg. PlayStation. Greg says Ooh. PlayStation. PlayStation <laughs> is not Damn. on the list. Andy. I can't believe Call of Duty was there. Like that high, at least. I'm gonna say Final Fantasy. Andy says Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is not. On the list. Of the Tim Gettys. I'm only going to say it because Greg teed it up here, but Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Tim says yeah. Xbox. Xbox is not Damn it. The on other one I was thinking, console. Mm. Or PC. Mm. I mean, there's, oh. a, there's a bunch of different ways to flip it and slice it. Our 10-point answer, Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Taylor Swift fans are okay. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our 20-point answer, Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, okay. With that, Tim got the 30-point answer with Call of Duty. Greg got the 40-point answer with Sonic. Andy got the 50-point answer with... Or sorry, yeah, Andy got the 50-point answer with Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that brings our score to Andy with 50. Uh, Greg with 40. Now he's in last place. And Tim with 30. As we move on 
<clears throat> to our second round of Final, Final Feudy. Point, give me your points, one of you stupid idiots. <laughs> Name a category that they should add to the Game Awards. <laughs> Name a category that they should add to the Game Awards. Because of a tie, there are two 20-point answers. We're going to start off with Tim Geddes. <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah, technical achievement. Tim says, technical achievement. Technical achievement is not Fuck. on the list. Greg Miller. Games journalist. Greg says, or journalism, you know. Journalist slash journalism. Games journalist is not oh, on wow. the list. Andy. Best indie independent game. Andy says best. I'm going with the indie the thing. That we all got mad about existing. Yeah. Okay. Best indie is not on the list. As we work our way back to Tim Gettys. We have the full list still available for points. As a reminder for the audience, every 30 points you make in this game do, does earn you a star. So right now, as it stands, Tim, Andy, and Greg have each earned one star so far. I'm playing a tricky game here. Yeah. Because I have something. But it might reveal to the others. I mean, Taylor Swift being in the last one kind of is like just, I'm everywhere now. Yeah. yeah. And nowhere. Oh, uh, this is a different direction. I'm going to say... Best trailer. Tim says, best trailer. Best trailer is not Fuck. on the list. God. Greg Miller. I'm fascinated to see what's on this list because now I'm thinking of just, I think, I was like, is that already there? Kind of, you know what I mean? I'm going to say accessibility. Like, I'm sure they have something, but do, do people know that? I'm saying accessibility. I don't fucking know. Greg says, accessibility. Accessibility is not on the list i think we're just all on the wrong wavelength with this yeah, apparently i'm gonna say shooter andy says best shooter best shooter is not wow on the list i think it was the first round of feudy that nobody got one fuck? answer correct like maybe in the history of feudy I'm so sure, can't wait. can i can i say something yeah, what ass, i was gonna ass. go with was nintendo and then mm. i would that would have potentially made them say playstation or xbox okay because people always talk about that no Really? No. Yeah. What? Best uh, like As RPG, JRPG. Or Our ten Pick. point answer: best horror game. Okay. okay. Our first twenty point answer: best puzzle, best puzzle game. Okay. Our second twenty point answer: best moment. I like uh, that. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Our thirty point answer: best DLC slash expansion. Ah, uh, good answer. Our forty point answer: best remake slash remaster. Ah. Uh, and then our fifty point answer. Best supporting role. Best this supporting all makes role. a lot. Of sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. When you read through it, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, these are all higher. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. The game awards are perfect. <laughs> uh, so we have no. Can't, couldn't wait to see the arguments over the best DLC expansion. <laughs> well, it's not really DLC. It's more than the. Yeah. Ah, you know, I get me out of here. <laughs> so we have no shifts in score, of course. Right now, Tim is sitting at thirty points. Greg is sitting at forty, and then Andy is sitting at fifty points. So it's time for our bonus round. I have three categories left on the board. Each of you has one shot to choose a category and clean up the answers on the board for those amount of points. If you get one strike, you're done, and we end your run there. We'll start with the person who has the least stars. Greg Miller, you're going to pick the category. Barrett, I'm going to have you bring up the three categories available. Fuck three categories ass. are... Jesus Christ. ...type of weapons, Sonic the Hedgehog, and game consoles. Oh, those are the three fuck. categories. Game Greg, consoles, can, please. Greg is choosing game consoles... Greg, name the best Sega console. Name the best Sega console. If you get one wrong, yeah. we end your run. Okay, so Dreamcast. Greg is starting with Dreamcast. Dreamcast is our 40-point answer. What's Genesis. Greg says? Greg says Genesis. Genesis is our 50-point answer. Game Gear. Game Gear is not there it is. on the there list. Is. There it is. There it is. 
You got the top two though, so that's ninety points. So that's yeah. a pretty good. That's I'll a pretty good I'll run right it. there. But I should have clean. I should have run the board. I just got cute. It's hard. I mean, Andy, when you're up really. next. Greg, <laughs> best. I bring back up the category so of course greg picked game consoles so, so that's tough. no longer available so the two categories oh you have, okay yeah the two ca categories you have to pick from are types of weapons and sonic the hedgehog can we talk about the can we close out is that like a tiebreaker we're gonna come back to game consoles uh i guess no i can i can give you the rest yeah so the, i mean where, so i would have then said uh after if i saturn which everybody hated and it's not yeah true. and that was our 20 point answer okay saturn. and then master system Yep, that was our 10-point answer. You're all fucking crazy. Our 30-point yeah. answer was At least you could take a fucking colored Game Gear with you. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 batteries and play Batman Returns. <laughs> <laughs> I owned the last two. That they were not up. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Barry, bring back up the I'm categories. in a tough spot because it's like, do I want to keep the Sonic the Hedgehog category away from Tim? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> it's such a tough spot right now. Oh, God. You don't think I don't weapons, though? You know what I mean? It's not guns. It's weapons. Take Sonic. I'm taking Sonic the Fuck Hedgehog. Fuck you! No! <laughs> Andy is going with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I could just tank all of it. <laughs> and I likely will. <laughs> Name a genre that we haven't seen a Sonic the Hedgehog game in. Multiplayer shooter. Not going to be there, but that was a good answer. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, great. Our 50-point answer is first-person shooter. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. What's, what's your next guess? You want to talk it out? Um, I'm going to go with... No, you don't. Okay. Because, like, I, I, I have no... I mean, I want you to win, even though you hate me Puzzle. and spit in my face. <laughs> Why are you still going? What? Well, no, I'm, no, I'm talking with okay, you. Okay, right yeah, so, yeah. I mean, what about RPG? There hasn't been a Sonic RPG, has well, there? I mean... And, and I know you and I are the fucking the freaks. The last one that came out that everybody, you know, like, cream of the dreams about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, had, had RPG elements. Yeah. But did, was it an RPG? You know what I mean? No, I know what you mean. You yeah. figure this fucker's race cars before, take that off the board. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's done pinball, take that off the board. You know what I mean? 2D side scroller off the board. Pinball. Pinball. What's genre? Genre? Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Karaoke jumps to mind, but I don't think enough people say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm going to go with... <laughs> this is so hard. It's very hard. MMO. Andy says MMO. Might keep you alive. MMO is not on the list. Thank God. Our 10 point answer for that one would have been dating sim. Mm. Our 20 point answer, RPG. Which, for the record... Show some fucking respect to Bioware. For okay? the record, there was a Sonic RPG that was developed by Bioware. Yeah, yeah. on the DS. Our 30 point answer, horror. Our 40 point answer, RTS. What was Death of Sonic the Hedgehog? That visual was novel. A visual novel. Film. Yeah, there Detective. was dating elements in yeah. that one, sadly. Man, that was just like just throw a dice and you yeah. might like yeah. just land on the right one. I was if if I wasn't gonna say MMO, I was gonna say survival, but I just mm. don't fucking know. Yeah. yeah, there's only one uh, category left on the board, and that is type of weapons, and this belongs to Tim. Tim, name something Agent Forty Seven might use to commit a murder. This is great. This is great. Name something Agent 47 might use to commit a murder, Tim. Squeaky Gun. Chip. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Tim says perfect. gun. Gun is our 50 yeah. point answer. How weird are they going to get? Ah, oh, man, dude. Ford Explorer. <laughs> I don't know. He's a, he's um, a, all right. Got to get in the zone here. Autosum. While he gets in the zone blessing, uh -huh. I would like to bequeath all my stars and points to Andy. Uh, I'm not going to allow it, unfortunately. <laughs> Fair I'm enough. Sorry. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say no sometimes. <laughs> and you got four baseball answers left on the board. Tim says baseball bat. Bad. Yeah, I know, I know. Baseball bat. Is not Fuck! on the no! list. No! <laughs> would food have been on the list? Uh, I would have needed you to get a bit more specific. Uh, our Sushi. 
<laughs> no, our 10 point answer is banana. <laughs> Because, like, in the Classic. modern Hitman games, he often will throw a banana. Yeah. I don't know if that... I think that knocks people out, though. I don't know if that actually kills people, but I might be wrong. I think there might be a meme about that. Uh, the 20-point answer was briefcase. 30-point uh, answer, poison. Yeah. Which, again, could have been the more that. specific version of food because he can poison food. Uh, and then the 40-point answer, fiber wire. Or, like, piano wire. You know, because he chokes people yep. out with the wire. Damn. Yeah. Th- so, those are, like, I would have... Nah. I would have been equally as bad as that as a Sonic <laughs> one because I would have gone, like... When I saw the category, I was like, all right, I know about fucking two-handed great swords. I yeah. know about yeah, 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 daggers. Yeah, yeah. I know about fucking <laughs> all sorts of weird shit. Barrett, if you can bring up the star standing. So our results of that, based on the points we have here, Greg has earned four points, which is going to take him from four stars to eight stars. Yay, me! Andy, currently sitting at six stars, has earned three stars off of his performance in Final Fantasy, bringing him up to nine stars, tying with Tim. But Tim, based on his performance today, is going from nine stars to 11 stars. Is. Wow, Timmy! Two stars oh, during Final Fury, making him the season yes. one champion. I thought there was going to be some more Despite bullshit. All odds, I thought it was going to keep going. Despite all odds, he I did I will it. say, this got way closer <laughs> than I thought it would. You did a great job with this. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah, you. Yeah. This was great. Tim Getty is our season champion. <laughs> of course, with this final episode of Game Showdown, I still want to make it competitive, but Tim would have would have had to royally fuck this up yeah. <laughs> in order to lose. And so, Tim, for your performance throughout this season, you have earned it. Do you have any words for us as the new champion? Real talk, I just want to say a shout out to the entire team. This show is amazing. It is the most fun I have every week. I want to keep this going. Thank you all for showing up to it. I hope to retain this next season. There will be a next season starting yep. very soon. Yep. Uh, when... Uh, in a few weeks. In the meanwhile, we have an off-season plan. And so for the next probably three to four weeks, we're going to have a lot of guests come through. And we're going to do guest episodes of Game Showdown, starting with our PAX Live episode. Wow! That you will be able to view. Of course, if you're at PAX East, you'll be able to view it live if you're there in the theater. Uh, but we'll find a way to upload it and have that be an official episode of Game Showdown. But yeah, Tim Gettys, once again, congratulations on your performance. I love it. I love it. Of course, this has been Game Showdown, your nerdy trivia game show. We'll be back next week with another episode. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.